And actually, the first clinical trial with PeptiStrong looked at just that, immobilized limbs of, of 30 subjects um, in Plaster of Paris for an entire week, um, and then followed them with just self-mobilizing exercise for two weeks afterwards, and then looked at the muscle loss, but also the protein synthesis in the group, and found the PeptiStrong group were four times greater at FSR protein synthesis um, than the placebo, which in that case was milk protein. But to go back to Atrogen 1 and MRF 1, we have peptides that will block or, or limit the transcription of that, so to prevent the breakdown of muscle, so that you're hanging on to what you have, as opposed to um, just relying on building. And of course, we know that over 60, it becomes a little bit harder to trigger um, mTOR with, sorry, with uh, leucine and arginine. And so as we age, it's even more important to hang on to what we've got. Now, I've, I've seen where you have some studies showing that Peptistrong is more effective, say, than whey protein. Um, what about using Peptistrong with whey protein or with branched-chain amino acids or with creatine? Do we know if there's a synergistic effect of adding some of these compounds together? Absolutely. We've just finished a paper where we've we've... Um, been doing exactly that. And I guess it's synergy and superiority. Um, what we looked at in cells, in muscle cells, um, was whether or not we could upregulate the ribosomal S6 um, assay in the biology lab. So could we measure, and that's at the bottom end of mTOR. 